Morning, guys. Hey, uh, welcome to Gravy Boat Cooking and Camping. So today, still stuck inside with the COVID-19 stuff, but uh, I got the smoker going out the back. And what I'm going to do is I've got a pulled pork here. Uh, I'm going to put the pulled pork on and I drop it over um, to some mates later on. Um, leave it at their front door. Don't have any contact with them. But um, so I've got a big enough one to feed a couple of families. So I'll just show you. Uh, what we've got here, so you can see. So this is the pulled pork. Now, I don't know how heavy it is, it's probably roughly around, probably about four, four kilo. Um, rub with some mustard first, then I've got some Suckle Busters uh, Hoochie Mama barbecue rub on as a base layer, and then some signature, one of my favorites, this Lane barbecue signature. And then the Luton Booty Barbecue Everything Rub, just to put a bit of a sweetness across the top. So as you can see, rub profile, pretty thick on there, but um, I find as I base the pork with a bit of apple juice as we go along, um, seems to, the rub seems to soak in or, or wash off a little bit with the mop process. So we'll take you out the smoker and we'll put it on. Let's so go. here we have the Traeger, as you can see in here. There's some uh, beautiful pellets sitting in there, ready to go. I think a bit of mesquite cross with hickory in there at the moment. All right, we'll fire up. A little bit, um, a little bit on the tray underneath. Did some chicken wings last night, but we'll get this pork on. Right, there we go. So it's on. Put out of bed. Thanks very much, Traeger. Righto, guys, um, just set up the Weber Eye Grill. So mine just sticks on the side there. Probes, oh, forget. Haven't got them all plugged in. So um, just plug that right here. Plug that third one in there. There we go. So we're we'll open up here. Lost my little holder, so I'll be a cat as well. So that's the temp probe on the grill. And I've just stuck the two probes into the meat. Um, so I might just quickly move this one while you're watching. And, um, try and get there. So, there you go. Um, so, it's been on since about 10 past 10. Um, so this will allow me to track the cook now so I can see pretty much when I need to wrap it up and um, we need to get it going. I've got the Traeger set at 121. Um, I don't know if you can see what it's actually at at the moment. This is 107. It's pretty hard. 108, pretty hard to read on the phone. Um, but 121, which is around about that 2 250 um, Fahrenheit. So Paul likes about that 225, 250. I find at 121 this sits. If I'm tracking it on the on the Weber, it sits between that 225 and 250. So. That's what I like to run my fork at. All right, guys, I'll check back in when I start basting. Okay, so it's time to baste. Perfect basting material, uh, the old Milton Mango. Don't usually use much else. Sometimes apple juice with pork, but I had a look in the fridge, I don't have any. So uh, uh, this apple juice will have to do. Okay, I find um, these mops, these mops from Bunnings, they work a treat. They don't um, knock too much of your rubber. You can just sort of layer your... Time's come to wrap the pork, uh, so I 
I'll show you what I do there. Um, so I've got some more of the Milton Mango Special. A little bit of Stubbs Hickory Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. I'm going to use a tray for this and, and boat it rather than wrap it, but I'll show you how we go here. So, pork's looking, looking good. Sitting at around, around 160 Fahrenheit at the moment. Four hours into the cook. So basically, I'm just going to pour a little bit of beer around the bottom, splash a little bit over the top, a little bit of sauce over the top. Don't mind the beeping here. Uh, this is just this is just the Weber beeping, telling me that the barbecue's too cold. See it in there. So now to um, wrap it up. Double layer. We'll put him to bed now for a, probably a good three hours. Okay, so I've just pulled it out of the Traeger. Um, I'm just going to see if I can shut my lid because the Traeger is not as noisy then. And um, have a go at that. Let me show you the probe. Beautiful, that's magic. Okay, so now the key is, um, now the key is that we need to take it inside and, and wrap wrap it back up and let it rest. So probably need to let it rest for a good hour or so. Um, let the temperature of the meat come down, absorb the juices. So we'll take it inside and do that. Hey guys, I thought I'd um, just finish doing the mowing. Um, Thought I'd come out and have a beer and um, lawn's not looking fantastic at the moment, but it's it's getting there. Um, thought I'd explain to you around around the um, the resting and why we do the resting. The resting is to to make sure that 
the the meat is at a I suppose a temperature when you pull it apart and you open it up and you and you start working with it and sourcing it and that that it's not too hot and you, you might say oh what, what why does it matter if it's too hot but if it's too hot that the inside of that that pork at the moment is probably close to 100 degrees celsius so up up to 90 you know 95 degrees celsius so when you think about something that hot if you've got moisture and you pull that meat apart and it's all got that moisture and you pull it apart what's that moisture going to do it's going to evaporate it's going to all steam off and you're going to be left without the moisture in the meat that you want so you really need to let your meat rest. That is, that's a key thing that I found out when I first started barbecuing is that if I didn't let it rest, I'd pull it apart and yeah, it was great when I pulled it apart, it looks moist and then it was all dry and I had to put a lot of sauce with it. And if you let it rest and you let it rest properly, then when you pull it apart, all that moisture has been sucked up and all the moisture has been, um, has been absorbed by the meat. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the reason that you, you need to do that. It doesn't matter whether it's pork or brisket or ribs. Um, pork ribs don't take that long. You don't really need to let them rest. They're a bit of a different thing. But beef ribs, definitely. A bit of resting time at the end just makes it so much juicier, um, more moist, as they say. But, yeah, make sure you, you're given some, some good rest time at the end. All right, guys. I'll uh, see you again when, we, when it's time to pull this baby apart and, and have a look at it. Okay, so as you can see, um, just cut these, this collar in half. It is pretty sharp knife. I'll just show you the, if I can zoom in. It's um, pretty soft. So I'll use the bear claws to um, just tear it up a bit. I'll start with this one. I'll just find, use these claws. Um, sort of need to do this two-handed. So, um, sorry guys, I had to do it two-handed. So I just use those bear claws there um, and just torn that pork up. As you can see, it's, um, it's looks pretty good. So I'll just uh, put this off for that bit. But it's going to get got the um, same sauces I used before, so stubbed bourbon, um, hickory bourbon. You don't need a, like a whole lot, I'd say that's probably no more than half a cup. And that's a fair bit of meat there, I'm trying to cover that, so we just mix that around as best we can. Now, um, now that meat will, as it's all tearing up there, that'll absorb a bit of that moisture. I might just put a little bit more um, of the, the juice out of the other one. Um, I can show you that a bit close up. Going in there. And that'll just allow it to soak a bit more of that juice up. And hopefully that should be on its way to our friends at Moore Park very shortly. How many is that for you? Two. Is this your second one? This is the way I like to build it up, guys. So a bit of coal saw on the bottom, not that you can see much there, but I promise you there is some. Um, some pulled pork from the reserves. Makes a lot. You can always freeze it. Goes good in the freezer. And then just some, just a little drizzle of sauce. Doesn't need much sauce, there's a lot in the pork. Drizzle of sauce over the top and there you go. Job done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.